in your mind, keys to to what the Cavs did in game two to to really put the Knicks away pretty early? First of all, it always starts with the Cavs defense. They've been playing playoff style defense uh, from the majority of the regular season. So the fact that they were able to continue to do that uh, to me was the number one factor and as well as do a much better job uh, on the board. So and then obviously number two uh, and maybe one a is the play of Darius Garland and uh, just the way he got going, you know, after struggling in the second half of game one, uh, really couldn't get anything going. The Knicks blitzed him a lot, put a longer defender on him uh, or, or a longer second defender on him to make his life difficult in game one. In game two, he was able to overcome that. You know, they, they paid more attention to Donovan Mitchell. Well, credit to Donovan Mitchell for ending up with a career playoff high 13 assists and a big credit to Darius Garland for, you know, just staying aggressive and not letting game one hold him back very much. Uh, and then obviously, you know, Karis LeVert, the Cavs desperately needed something in reserve, uh, especially with Isaac Okoro struggling, played just three minutes of game two. Uh, Karis LeVert with a huge night and you know the Cavs are going to need more of that to uh you know emerge from this series yeah and the, along those lines here's uh, what you're talking about with Lavert. uh 24 points four rebounds four three-point field goals made um that's the highest scoring playoff game off the bench for a Cavalier since Shannon Fry so that's 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 going back uh, quite a ways um but yeah, the, he's he or Jetty Osman has to come through and score um, pretty much one or the other every game if the Cavs are going to do what they need to do in this series. Yeah, at least at least one of them, you know, because you're going to presumably get what you always get from Donovan Mitchell. Uh, Darius Garland's now comfortable in the series. It looks like. Uh, Evan Mobley, I thought, is is getting more comfortable. Showed that last night was not intimidated by Julius Randle or the Knicks' physicality. Uh, and you know, Jared Allen's going to do what he always does, which is y you look at the box score, you don't think he's done a whole lot, and then you see he's put up another double double. And uh, so that leaves somebody else, you know, presumably off the bench, where you can get that spark in Game One. It was Josh Hart for the Knicks who gave a big spark. In game two, Karis LeVert for the Cavs. So we're seeing how that goes. When one team gets a nice spark off the bench, uh, that team has won each game. So, yeah, it's either going to have to be LeVert or Chetty or somebody else uh, that, that really gets going, whether, you know, maybe Isaac Okoro gets another, another opportunity to uh, play extended minutes, and he'll be that guy. So, But the Cavs definitely need that um, just because, you know, they have so many weapons. It, it's it's nice if they all play well together as they did in game two.